is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today i have sort of a fig hack sort of just like a random wwe figure accessory for you guys and it is this wwe action figure royal rumble lottery box picker raffle ticket farts in a whole thing but seriously i don't know if you guys remember my, my audience may be a little bit younger they may not remember these but um back in the day back when the royal rumble used to be you know it used to mean something man it used to be a big deal it used to be something that you could create storylines off of out of the blue you, you could just incorporate so many cool things at the Royal Rumble. So what they had was on the night of the Royal Rumble, they of course they had their qualifying matches, they had their, you know, guys announcing their their entrance into the Royal Rumble. They did a lot of creative things. I support, you know, qualifying for the Royal Rumble, having a matchup to get yourself into that Royal Rumble. Of course, I'm all for the surprise returns and stuff. I'm not going to say like cuz cuz you got to have your surprises, you got to have your debuts, you got to have your cool thing, legends coming back, all that good stuff. But I I miss when, you know, you qualify for the Royal Rumble and on the night of the Royal Royal Rumble, they would have backstage segments leading up to the Royal Rumble. So at the beginning of the show, you know, they brought out this box, they would show off the box, and it would be this picker. And what they would do is they'd have usually two divas or two women over there, you know, and spinning it around. It used to sit on a little thing, which I'm still, this is still a work in progress. It's not completely done yet. I got Eric Bischoff here because he will be, you know, leading the charge. On, on the night of the MDT Royal Rumble, we're going to be using this box um, for the same segments I'm about to tell you about. And so, what we would have is two women on either side or whatever the case. I, I'm pretty sure they used to have, like, Christy Hemi used to do it all the time. And, you know, random women would come out and uh, it would sit on this little stand and they would spin it. It had, like, a handle on it and it would spin and it would have lottery balls in it or um, little clear plastic. You remember those things as a kid? You'd put the quarter in it, you'd spin it, and it'd give you, like, a little ball that was plastic clear. And you'd, they'd open it up and it'd have a note in there and the note would have their number on it. And nobody knew, obviously, what number they were, but based on their reaction, you know, you could get an idea of where they were in the Royal Rumble. And people would, you know, you could trade them, you could buy them, you could, you know, steal. Eddie Guerrero stole Ric Flair's number one time. And, I mean, you could do some really cool skits, really funny skits, really cool storylines based off of the Royal Rumble lottery picker. And so I wanted to bring that to the MDC Royal Rumble. So what I have here is that exact thing. And it literally was pretty easy to make. I'm not going to lie to you. It was pretty easy. I went to Michael's and I got some of this plastic mesh here. As you can see is what makes up the base of it. And then I got some circular ones, which is the, the, the cap part of it. And so I wrapped it around. I wanted to make it, you know, good scale to the WWE action figures that we get from Mattel. I wrapped it up and then I didn't have the zip ties at the moment. So I just taped it like I duct taped it to itself and that worked for now and I don't really mind the gold bar like it's it's not too noticeable I mean it's it kind of seems like it's made that way I don't I don't really know how to explain it but then I took two circle versions of the matte mesh stuff it's like this plastic mesh I don't even know what you'd call that but they had circle versions of that I cut those to size and then took little mini zip ties that I got from Lowe's and zip tied them to the base and then I cut out this little door and the door does open you can open this door here oh my god that hurt like hell guys jesus christ i'm literally bleeding god almighty not even gonna lie to you yesterday i cut myself doing a torso crack and this just reopened the wound that th this is just bloody awful pun intended god almighty hell all right good as new got the bandage on there that hurt like hell it still burns a little bit anyways let's get this door open i kind of forgot where i was but uh this door does open up as you guys can see and it doesn't latch or anything but it does work you know i can put it back in place i'm gonna have to make sure i don't cut myself though next time it's not even that sharp it just you know my skin was real frail and you know from the from the cut yesterday it literally happened not even 24 hours ago so that's why it's so fresh but anyways you open this up and you got little blue and pink balls. I wanted blue balls for Vindication, hee <laughs> hee, and I wanted pink balls for MDT Live. So what I have is these little miniature balls in here, and I'm gonna see if I can get one out, my god. So here you have it, I have little blue balls, hee <laughs> hee, and I have little pink balls for MDT Live, and so Vindication Superstars will select a blue ball, and MDT Live Superstars will select a pink ball, and they will find out, you know, what number they will be. We'll have segments like this leading up to the Royal Rumble, because of course, you know the MDT Royal Rumble, the Royal Rumble will 
main event the show. And so we have, I think, three or four other matches on the card. And I want to make sure that the Rumble is last. And so, you know, through the night, different superstars that have qualified, won their qualifying matchups, have a, you know, spot in that Royal Rumble. They're going to select their number and we're going to have different segments backstage during the show. And that's how this is going to go. Just giving you guys a little heads up there. So these are the little balls. They do fit in the figure's hands. Let me go ahead and grab an example. So here's Ezekiel Jackson. I just have him as like a random basic. You guys can see that the ball does fit in his hand there and he can see what number he is and bam there he goes he'll go get in line and he'll wait upon his entry into the Royal Rumble so that is where I got that and I'm pretty happy with the way it came out I think the box came out great you guys will notice there's also a wooden dowel going through the center of it that little line there let me go ahead and put these balls back into the box and you see the balls go back in there you just shut the door like so well of course the the wooden dowel all I did was took it and just ran it straight through the center I cut a hole in the middle of it there and ran it all the way through that way it can rotate because you know it needs to randomize a little bit you don't want you know everybody getting numbers near each other you want to randomize it there and so I'm trying to look for a base I want it to connect to a base that way I can you know spin it around and superstars can get their number so it's not completely done I don't want to pick it up and do this and have like this weird thing it needs to definitely connect to a base what I'm thinking is if we move the table here uh, I'm thinking like get something that can stand on the ground and then it'll hold it in the middle here I'll snip off the excess on the ends and then it'll be easy to turn it over and then superstars can reach in there pick their number go to the MDT Royal Rumble and try to go main event my damn nation or get their title match in my damn nation so that is my thinking and I hope you guys uh, enjoy this little fig hack it's pretty cool I, I don't think I've ever seen anybody make a WWE figure Royal Rumble lottery box or anything like this before so I thought it was pretty cool I think it's pretty nice and I cannot wait to use this film those segments and everything I'm gonna try and knock out the rest of MDT live today and have it up in the next couple days so that I can finally forge on to that MDT Royal Rumble and get that filming going because you know that the show is gonna be very long and it's going to be a interesting process but can't wait to forge on to it and I hope you guys did enjoy this Royal Rumble lottery box hack slash custom build I really don't know what to say about it but thank you guys so very much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave a like comment down below what you think of the MDT Royal Rumble lottery box what do you think about the MDT Royal Rumble coming up subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys and I will see you guys in the next video thank you